Hello, dear traders, welcome to InstaForex TV channel. You are watching a weekly link up with me, Kate Stichina. We would like to discuss the ongoing situation in Forex with the technical analyst Peter Yakimovich and forecast further moves of popular currency pairs. Another turbulent week is coming to an end, so investors are stalking fears about the nearest prospects for the global economy. The International Monetary Fund has acknowledged a severe downturn as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. The risk of mood boosted demand for safe haven assets, including the US dollar, is closing the week, consolidating gains. The euro dollar pad dropped to the lowest level in one and a half week. Let's ask uh, the technical analyst Peter Yakimovich to share the outlook for some popular currency pairs for the next week. Hi, Peter. Hello, dear traders. On the euro versus US dollar, uh, basically we got a, a very good upside movement uh, since our previous forecast, and basically the price reached our objective um, from the last week, and that uh, objective was um, at the price of one point one one fifty. And basically what happened, because that was a resistance level, the euro, uh, uh, I found a big rejection of that 1.1, 1 1.1150 level, and the breakout of the support trend line, which is a basically the good indication that supply uh, took control over the buyers, that sellers took control over the buyers. And my expectation is now basically that in the next uh, few days, uh, I see and uh, I predict that the euro uh, can go downside. And uh, really, the support level that I can find in the background is set at the price of 1.0643, which is basically the, uh, the good uh, support level and the potential objective for the downside. Uh, since the euro versus US dollar um, did break the level of 1.0925, which was the uh, multi, multi swing low based on the four hour time frame. Uh, this is another indication that supply is in the control, and my prediction is absolutely that uh, the euro um, can visit the 1.0645. So uh, I think that selling on the rallies um, might be uh, might be a good good idea. So my prediction is totally to the downside and the target. And the level at the 1.0645. The pound dollar pair has been trading exactly in line with the expectations from the link up last week. Could you please comment on the current dynamic of the pound dollar pair? On the British uh, versus US dollar, we got uh, a very good, uh, very good uh, movement in the past uh, few days. And basically, our uh, previous week target also. Has been also reached and uh, at the level of 1.2, uh, I will say the 1.2, uh, 250, uh, but price actually went all the way to 1.2500, which is a basically the key resistance, basically on the short term perspective. What I found is that the pound is in the consolidation. It seems like it's building one, um, one balance, and the eventual breakout to the downside. Uh, my prediction is that if uh, if you see the prediction of the down, uh, if you see the breakout of this um, consolidation to the downside, there is a really uh, potential for test um, of the 1.2250 or even 1.1970 level. So definitely 1.2500 will be important pivot level. So uh, to watch, and uh, you know my prediction is that pound got more chance and more odds for rotation to the downside and the breakout to the downside towards the 1.2250. So my expectation is that the pound dollar will trade lower. Do you expect the US dollar to advance against the yen, the currency with the strongest safe haven features? And on the USD versus Japanese yen, there is a very interesting situation. Uh, basically on the 480 minute time frame or which is the basically at the eight hour time frame, there is a full divergence on the free 10 oscillator on this currency pair. And this is a quite interesting because my prediction is that price can trade higher from, from, from here and that um, in the next few days, uh, I see the potential targets at 108.27, then 108.70 level, and eventually the price can go even all the way to 109.45. So 
because this bull divergence is a quite big on the eight hour time frame i see the potential for uh, the upside rotation and the rally to happen on this one so my prediction is to the upside on the usd versus japanese yen thank you peter for your trading recommendations see you next week you have watched the link up on insta forex tv channel with me kate stikina and peter yakimovich technical analyst of insta forex office we wish you always profitable trading see you soon